today I'm going to talk about the use of Z24 to 120 in certain、uh, test shots.、Uh, then later I'll compare that to Z24 to 70、uh, at、uh, wide end as well as as long end. This test image was shot、uh, at 24 millimeter, and f stop is f11. Fire pit focus. So naturally, you're not gonna get everything in focus. So the foreground a little bit blur in the corner that is understandable unless you do focus stacking. And these areas will be a little blurry, but that is that is perfectly okay because all this composition draws the eye to the setting, not to the roots here, not to the trunk or roots here. The next one is also at a 24 millimeter. Um, this one is also shot at f11. As I said, the sweet spot is between f11 and f16 for 24 millimeter end. As as you can see, and all these quarters are pretty sharp, but we're not interested in the quarters because the light is over here, and that is where our attention is drawn to. As you can see,、uh, in the far distance, the birds line up the shoreline here. So that is a sunrise image. The next one is also at 24 millimeter, but this one is a kind of like panorama, and it's a stacked.、Uh, I think I divided the composition into eight portions, and since I didn't bring a tripod, I simply handheld shot eight images in a row, up and down, up and down, up and down, and up and down, and stitched all these eight images together in post. I don't use the Photoshop; I use GIMP. Everything, everything is done in GIMP. The next one is 82 millimeter, and this one was shot at、uh, 6:3. All these birds, actually,、uh, the birds were uh, uh, were not blur、uh, in the original image, but I did post production in GIMP, added、uh, motion blurriness blurs as well as some、um, pastel effects for the sky and also for the water. So this one,、uh, I don't remember what this was. This one was at 50 millimeter, and this one was shot at,、uh, I believe, f8. Shot at f8.、Uh, so you can see all these leaves are super sharp, corner to corner. So. You don't have any problem at at、uh, at, at 50 millimeter compared to 24, and the last one.、Uh, I think this is not 24. Let's see what is this. This is 38. So that is almost close to 35 or 40. And、uh, I believe this one was shot at、uh, shot at、uh, f8, and the focus is on this little tent over here. And corner areas, super nice.、Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is compare this lens to 24 to 70. So basically,、uh, I did some more test shots. Compare 24 to 120 short end to the short end of 24 to 70. They're at the same distance, not minimum focus distance, but they're at the same distance to the test charts, and shot at、uh, various. Aperture. So let's take a look at these guys first. So on my left hand side is 24 120. Right hand side is 24 70. At same focal length, 24 millimeter, 24 millimeter at same aperture, f4 and f4. To,、uh, right now is at a 13 percent. Let me bring this into full screen mode. At 13 percent, I want to go further. In wide open, the center area is pretty much.、Uh, Pretty much the same. There's a little, little difference. There's a little difference. If you want to say which one's sharper, I would say probably the 24 to 70 on my right hand side is slightly sharper, if not the same sharp. So let's see some of these numbers at 100%. Very close, but there's a tad sharpness. For 24 to 70, he had this aperture on 24. Let's check out the corners here and look at photography. The last part, 
at 100%. The difference is very, uh, very obvious. I think 24 to 70 is slightly sharper here than the 24 to 120. So let's go down to the bottom. There are some numbers. Go to 100%. And you can tell the numbers. Definitely the numbers on the right hand side is sharper than the left hand side. So in other words, 24 to 70 is sharper here at the extreme corner on the right hand side. Let's check uh, in the middle. Pretty much uh, the same thing. I cannot tell the difference between the two. I want to go to extreme corner to my left. A block of text. Extreme lower corner, lower left corner. Right open, 24 to 70 is better. There's less blur in this particular area. So let me zoom out. If you say, oh, my screen is now lined up perfectly square to the camera plane, these two images don't lie. So that basically means there is uh, advantage, at, at least at this focal length, the 4, 24 to 70, the wide open okay, F8, 24 to 70, F8. Now we're on the equal plane now. Okay, you can use at F8, you can still uh, see um, 24 to 70 has a little advantage here. All right, let's go stop down to F11. Uh, F11 and F11. So for F11, I don't know. This should be the same when you stop down to F11 at 24. No difference in the center. All right, but we're interested in the uh, extreme corner here on the upper. Still, you can see uh, 24 to 70 on the right hand side. It's still a little better than 24 to 120. How about down here? Let's zoom to 100%. I would say 24 to 70 is slightly better here on the corner. Slightly better. So I want to go down to F16. F16 and 24 to 70. F16, they should be the same. Let's check extreme corners here at 100%. 100%. Right hand side, 24 to 70. Left hand side, 24 to 120. And at the bottom, so you can draw the conclusions. All right, so let's see uh, at long end. F4, F4, 70 millimeter, 70 millimeter. Right hand side is 24 to 70. Left hand side is 24 to 120. Center area has no difference, not, not much difference at all. Hundred percent. And extreme corners. The upper right. Very close. I think it's very close. And down here. Very close. I think it's twenty four to seventy has this uh, little bit of tad sharpness here, but not much. All right, uh, let's switch to the other side. Slightly better, uh, a tad better. All right, let's change it to 5.6. Five, 5.6 six. Five, not much difference in the middle.
not much difference in the upper and there's a tad sharpness here in the right corner for 24 to 70. let's do 100 percent just a tad f8 24 to 70 is slightly sharper for f8 let's move up again 24 to 70 to my eyes slightly better all right let's check the other corner here very close and f8 is very close let's go down to f11 see what's the difference even closer if you give um, a evaluation here I would say 24 to 70 slightly better here at the far corner but not that much all right let's stop down to f16 at f16 I don't see any difference. I don't see any difference at all. They're almost identical. They're almost identical to F16. I did this cross the entire range from 24 to 70. I can go down to 50, for example. I can do the same kind of a comparison like we did earlier for 20 uh for 27 as, as well as for uh 70 24 and 70 and i can do the same uh, kind of comparison here and he confirms he confirms one thing that is 24 to 70 is slightly better across the entire focal range from 24 to 70 in terms of sharpness nothing else sharpness only I'm not talking about distortion because I'm not interested in distortion I'm not going to use this lens to shoot buildings I don't do architectural photography for what I shoot I don't care about that so the, I don't want to evaluate distortion everything else in terms of sharpness on the same plane I would say 24 to 70 is better imagine this 24 to 70 is the MSRP or the manufacturer suggested retail price. It's about $1,000, just five pennies shy away from $1,000. Well, the manufacturer suggests the MSRP for 24 to 120. It's just a few pennies shy away from $1,100. So in other words, the cost difference between the two lenses is only 100 bucks. Do you really think Leica is going to make 24 to 120 significantly better for $100 difference? I don't think so. Takeaway for this is this. Look at your images. If you don't shoot a lot um, beyond 70, uh, stay with 24 to 70. And hopefully you can uh, in the future or you can use, you know, uh, Lycan or some other brands, 70 to 200 F4 range. I'll give you even more reach. Well, if you just want to carry one lens, do it all. 24 to 120 is the solution. Okay. It is the only solution for Z right now. Um, it's a good lens, but there are some trade offs the designers made. And just bear that in mind. Doesn't mean you cannot get great images. I'm not saying my images are great, but to my eyes, these images are perfectly acceptable. I don't have any problem with these images at all. I can print them big, okay? And I can turn them into art like this or pseudo art like this. So I can stack images or I can do stitchings out of handheld shots. This was at F8, 24. You cannot tell, you know, 
uh, sharpness issues at all because the composition has a lot of uh, imperfections. Well, this is a single shot, 24 millimeters, still quite acceptable. And so is this at f11, quite acceptable. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time.